the city must survive. And that means you have to be prepared to make some unpleasant decisions. I vow to help people in need, and I intend to respect that oath. I can't fail now. There's too much at stake. Ah, yes, your vows. I always found it strange that people see oaths as beautiful displays of virtue and fail to notice their pragmatic dimension. Some smart man or woman invented the first oath for a very simple reason, to make those who took it try harder. If you find your duty motivating, go ahead and fulfill your vows. Spirits, I forgot how easily you can see right through me. Real pity you can't be here with me. This adventure turned out to be more than I'm bargained for. More importantly, your first foreign romance turned out much more complicated than most. Wouldn't it be dull otherwise? Kaz is a very enjoyable distraction. Perhaps more than that even. Now that I think about it, he may be the best thing that's happened to me since I came here. Careful, child. Enjoy it, but don't grow too attached or you may end up with even more to regret. You had a first taste, but the worst is still to come. Solstice draws near. You can feel it, can't you? Yes, it, it feels cold and heavy, like a cloud brimming with thunder, but without a drop of rain. It doesn't feel right. There's a lot of energy around, but it doesn't make me feel stronger. Quite the opposite, in fact. I'd appreciate some advice here. I wish I had any. This is as alien to me as it is to you. Only the Northerners understand these things. These are wild. Nana? By the waters! Murderer! Spirits, protect me. Galen! Get a grip, boy. It was Lev. How did he... Some ugly curses are at work in this city. Too much suffering permeates the waters. You will have to confront it, but you must control your heart and mind. If you allow yourself to be swayed by phantoms, you will lose yourself forever. I... I'll try. You are well prepared. Your affinity for water, knowledge of herbs and potions, and ability to read people. These are all precious tools. Use them. Let go of guilt. That's what lured the specter here. Your mind must be your fortress, otherwise you won't be able to distinguish reality from fantasy. You're a guide. You can do it. Now, wake up. I still have no idea what's going on. Oh, Kaz. I have, pl I have seen plenty of horrible things in my life, but that trial was the strangest example of malice triumphing over justice. Words worthy of a poet. Pity artists aren't even aren't entitled to give verdicts. You look very calm. Don't you find Istvan's decision at least slightly unnerving? Or was it decision? Of course I do. I knew the old man was dangerous, but this? Still, I'm the newcomer. You, on the other hand, should be surprised by any of it. Sadly, you're right, but I'm happy to see you still have some sense of right and wrong left in you. How very thoughtful of you both to speak of me as if I'm not here. Oh, is Yanni in prison? Kaz, would you mind letting me out of this cell for a moment? I'd like to have a talk with Galen, eye to eye. Of course, it's not like you have anywhere you can go. Thanks, I hate to admit it, but I might have made a mistake. Lashing out against the most powerful man in the city? Not a wise idea. Listen, I better give you two some privacy. You know where to find me. Thanks. Yana, I have to say, I understand where you're coming from, and I'm sorry. How sweet of you. I'm serious, you don't belong here. Your heart is in the right place, but this is not the time for getting emotional. I screwed up. Unfortunately, I can't fix this mistake. You'll have to deal with this on your own. I... I understand. What do you want me to do? Listen carefully. You need to find the main control chamber and restore the safety systems. I'd love to, but how am I supposed to do that? Every clue I found as to where the main control chamber might be is here in my journal. Restarting the systems is easy. Just follow what I wrote there. It's... Yes? It's just... I should not be telling you this, but I hardly have any choice. The core of the system is voice controlled. You'll find the exact words you need to say written down in my notes. Read them exactly as you see them and you'll be fine. Take it. It's yours. Thanks. I understand you must be breaking at least a dozen rules. I know your people like to keep their secrets. 
That's true, but the circumstances are far from ordinary. I'm afraid that's not all. It's probable you won't find the control chamber in time. That is why you have to discover the identity of the saboteur. Find them and stop them. I'll do whatever it takes. I hope you really mean that. You may have to kill them. I'm aware of that. I'm glad your doctor's oath won't stand in your way. It never did. My mentor taught me the value of pragmatism. Sometimes an action does more harm than crossing the line. I hope this will all be over the next time we see each other. It will be, one way or another. Good luck, Galen. Thanks. So I guess, depending on my choice, Yanni could still be out of prison and be able to help us. Hopefully that's not going to bite us in the butt. Not that I believe in luck. And so Galen is off to save the day. Are you ready to go back now? Of course not. I need to survey the city again, try to find the control chamber, and stop whoever is doing this. You know I can't let you do that. I do. But why? You know as well as I that Galen won't be able to do my job. These walls won't last, and without the protection, we're as good as dead. You have been sentenced by the bank. My compact forces me to keep you here, so this is where you'll be. This is madness. We're almost out of time and everyone's acting as if nothing is wrong. Then let me tell you what will happen if you let you go. First, the guards will kill you on sight. Then they will pay me a little visit. We have no choice but to trust Galen. Which is precisely what worries me. You obviously didn't see the look on his face when he read my notes. She looked, so he looked a bit confused. That's not uncommon for Galen. Yanni, he'll either succeed or fail miserably trying. There's nothing you can do about it now. That's the most infuriating thing. I hate feeling so helpless. I can't let you go. If you want to speak to anyone, I can go get them. If you want books or papers, that can be arranged. But you can't leave the godhouse. Do you know how the faculty teaches initiates responsibility? In our second year, we were asked to build a shelter in a forest. A small thing that can accommodate just one person. Once we're done constructing, we have to live in it for a week. This is our first individual design, so everyone tends to go a little wild. I kept my project rather simple. Too simple for top marks, I thought. I was wrong. Many ended up with broken limbs before the test even started proper. Others almost froze to death, unable to finish their designs. That sounds overly brutal. I got a little malnutrition and received the highest grade, but it's still the lesson I remember the most. Good for you, I guess. Well, what does that have to do with our situation? When I see Galen, I can't help but think of those kids. Full of ideas so grand, they don't even notice when the walls start to crumble. I understand, Yanni, but you know I still can't let you go. I know. How could I have been so stupid? How could I think I could win against or reason with Istvan? I will talk to him, but I think you have to acknowledge that his decision is final. Give Galen a chance. The odds are stacked against him. He'll fail. I failed. Oh no. Is that going to be true? Am I doomed? Is the fact that I'm screwed up means that I'm doomed? Things slow down after the trial. No more dead bodies. No more explosions. Isfun was of course overjoyed to have more proof it was all Yanni's doing. But I knew our time was running short. The saboteur, whoever they are, was laying low, waiting for the perfect opportunity to finish us off. And my only ally was behind bars. I tried every ritual I could think of, hoping to reveal the location of the control room, but with no luck. It had clearly been hidden by someone who, unlike me, knew how to use the wild energies of Solstice to their benefit. Then, things went from bad to worse. The system continued to deteriorate on its own, eventually causing lights throughout the entire city to flicker. His fun took it badly, becoming more and more paranoid to the point that my own position became uncertain. We were struck between the unknown menace of Solstice, Solstice, and fear of our old leader. Or maybe owner would be a better word. Finally, I decided to call my last available ally, one who had been present in my thoughts for quite some time. Who? Spirits, I should have tried this a long time ago. Even it's one of the most morbid ideas I've ever had. The potion should work just fine, given how close Solstice is, but who knows? I know you're here. Why don't you show yourself, friend? I need your help. Ooh, the ghost of Lev! Maybe he can shine some things on this. Whoa, if you're going to play that tormented soul trick on me again, I will punch you. As far as I'm concerned, you're nothing more than a figment of my imagination, and it just so happens my figments are all friendly and likable. So no funny business, right, old chap? Bloody Islanders! 
You can vent your frustration later. Now I need you to focus and answer a few questions. I want you to give me the location of the main control chamber and explain how you opened the hidden entrance to this place. Who has been helping you? That is not how it works, chap. I am not your personal informer. Besides, how do you expect a figment to tell you things you yourself don't know? Or do you think I'm the actual ghost of a dead man? It really doesn't make much of a difference, does it? My people have been using visions like this for ages. I honestly don't care how it all works. Whatever. Whoever you are, I need to get answers before we all die. Living things fear dying. I remember being afraid too. The truth is, being dead isn't all that bad. I feel much better now that my mind is no longer subdued by Kala. That cursed thing consumed my life. I became an instrument of someone else's revenge. Who knows, maybe it was even justified. But it's gone now and I'm finally free! <laughs> I might not be so simple. You died in a place brimming with power, right next to the waters, probably not thinking happy thoughts. There's a chance you're going to be stuck here for some time. The Jewel of the North, they call it. Arrogant fools! Do you know what this city really is? It's hell, inhabited by desperate souls who sought refuge, but found prison. I'm no longer one of them. No, I'm just a phantom you conjure to learn things you hid from yourself. Nana always says her minds are wiser than we realize. We often learn things without even noticing them. Indeed, there is much you have buried, but be warned, it may not be what you expect. Ask yourself, do you really want to hear it? As a friendly figment, I owe you that much. Quit stalling, I don't have time for a pointless back and forth with an apparition. Fine, learn your secret. Spirits. What kind of doctor administers poison to his patient? What kind of person murders someone who came seeking their help? No, I... I did what I had to do to save everyone. Spare me the lies you've been telling yourself. You have broken your vows. You are a murderer. Oh, it was Galen. It was a mis... It really was Galen. Wow. Bold game. Very bold. It was a mistake. Even if by mistake I did take your life. All I can ask is for your forgiveness. I thought my plan was sound. If only I had reached you with the antidote in time. But you vanished. He was trying... So he poisoned him and was trying to get... And you followed him to try to give him his antidote. That's not good enough. You committed a crime but never confessed it. The only law you obey is the law of survival. The same cruel impartial law that states spilled blood calls for blood in return. Stop this. You can't ask me to do that. Murder calls for justice. You know that. You will deliver it by drinking the same poison you gave me! What? It's in your pocket. Don't you remember? You put it in there yourself right before you came here! I did, but... Does that mean he... You're right, I deserve this, don't I? It's shameful that I didn't have the guts to confess. Maybe the only dignity left is the one that com comes with choosing my own death. That's why I'm offering you redemption. Now, drink! Yes, I must make amends. Stop this nonsense at once! Nana? I swear you'll be the death of me. Do you think I spent all those hours teaching you crap so you could poison yourself during a hallucination? Hallucination? I... I don't understand. You were so persuasive. So wait, did he not actually poison him? What does takes me? Of course he was persuasive, dumb old dummy. He was you! Spirits, I did exactly what you warned me about, didn't I? Yes, that's why you only managed to reach that which is strongest in you right now. A projection of your own guilt. Solstice energies exacerbated the effect. I'm lucky to have you, Nana. Me, I'm not even here. Now smell your salts and stop this with all this unnecessary drama. Right. It's over. Now what I, not what I expected, too. I can see now why people who do this kind of thing usually end up mumbling to themselves. It wasn't a complete waste of time, though. I would have to had to deal with Lev sooner or later. At least I had a chance to clear my head. Ha! And I completely forgot to ask him about Kala. Now I will never know. Who am I kidding? That was my last crazy idea, and it failed. I wish I could just go back home. 
So I'm confused. So he didn't, he didn't actually poison him? Just what the hell do you think you're doing? This is not the right time, Yakon. Having a bad day, are we? No wonder, you reek of death magic. I knew you were a sorcerer the first moment I saw you. By conjuring phantoms right before the night of solstice, you must be more stupid than Yanni thinks. Maybe so. Could you then enlighten this humble imbecile how to how a simple caravan driver can smell death magic? Whatever that is. It's not just that. You've been doing something to the waters too. I can feel it. Right? Listen to me. I'm very tired and very frustrated. So unless you have something helpful to say, just let me get back to my room and crawl into bed. Thought as much. Good night. Wait. I was supposed to be a wise woman, all right. In my tribe, if you're some kind of southern mage, you probably know that already. Yes, I know that, but no, not thanks to my inner eye. What do you mean? Nobody else knew... Oh. That P. Relax. Sam only revealed your secret after I threatened him with my prolonged company. I haven't told anyone else about it. Your company. Can't blame him for babbling then. So what exactly does being a wise woman entail? I never considered you a suspect, despite your background and skills. There's something about you I can't put my finger on it, but my intuition tells me your craft, whatever it may be, simply can't be destructive. The only skills my people value are those that guarantee survival. Anything else is an unnecessary luxury. Before others came here, the only threat we knew came from the ice. So we created rituals to deal with it, to calm the land and make it more forgiving. Everything changed when the city was built. My ancestors saw it as a plague that needed to be contained before it could be cured. That's when they turned to more aggressive methods. They put curses in the underground hot springs to make them cool over time? They wrongly assumed this would be enough for you to leave. The family simply hired their own magicians to revert the curse. Magicians from the islands in the far south. Yes, my people. We took care of the waters with the faculty's help. Yanni's with them. That explains a lot. But in the end, you both failed. The old curses are getting stronger. They are. The saboteur used our own craft to strengthen them. If we don't stop it, the walls will collapse and the waters will freeze. You are beaten at your own game, but so are we. Rituals of my tribe are being performed in the city. I can feel it. Which means this is all happening because of solstice. I think so, yes. Any advice you could give me? I was taught that great things can be accomplished with the power of solstice. But great isn't necessarily good. During the long night, immense energies are at play in the north. They aren't dangerous in themselves and can be used for protection as well as harm. Without a wise woman's intervention, they remain neutral and dissip dissipate as the night passes. A wise woman. So men can't use it? They don't, according to northern customs. But that doesn't mean they can't. Still, the custom may have been born out of practicality. I can't say. None of that matters now. You risked a lot doing your magic, though. For my people, working any rituals near or during solstice is taboo. Whoever tries to use those energies without proper protection pays the ultimate price. They die. Die, lose their sanity, turn into phantoms like Lev. If you believe the old stories, that is. I see. Can you help me stop this, being a wise woman and all? Do I look 90 to you? I never finished my training and know only the basics. I'm good at sensing things, but that's about it. Besides, even my limited skills became useless when you started throwing your weird magic around. My protective rituals won't work now. Believe me, I tried. So I'm on my own. We all are. Always. But, for what it's worth, I'm glad it's you who is going to take care of things. I admit, it's all a bit too much to handle. This assignment was supposed to be an adventure, not a deadly trap. I wish I could simply leave and go back home. Sometimes I imagine I could go somewhere else too. Do something different. Stupid, I know. Please, the only thing that's really stupid is understanding, underestimating ambition. So tell me, if you could leave, where would you go? Somewhere warm, south, your homeland maybe? Would your people accept a savage girl from the north, 
North and her tribal knowledge. You know what? That's not such a bad idea. You have skills and a natural affinity for the craft. That's enough to become a novice at my academy. Really? But I know nothing about your ways. We have people from all over the world visiting our halls all the time. Some are accepted as students. It's not unheard of. If we survive this, you can come to the Isles with me. You'll get to meet Nana, Keed. She'll help you with choosing your path. A stranger helping me decide what I should do, eh? A nice thought. Getting some help for a change. Gah! Daydreaming is so pointless. We'll all just freeze here anyway. Nanakid will just love your attitude. Don't you have a city to save? Don't let me keep you. Spirits confronting Lev left me absolutely exhausted. All that saying, saving will have to wait. Won't Kaz be jealous another man left you so drained? Does everyone know that we're, that we're a, an item? Wait, how do you know that? I saw him earlier today. He was grinning like a seal with rabies, eyes all wet and sparkly. A grown man should not be seen in such a state. That sounds very promising. Just try to keep in mind that we might all be dead tomorrow. Good luck, Galen. Thank you so much for all the help. Oh, speaking of Kaz. And then she said, maybe we could use it as an accelerant? She actually used that word. I'm surprised you two didn't kill each other weeks ago. You really have that love-hate thing going on. I, the thought did cross my mind on multiple occasions, but I'm too lazy to act on it. I mean, just imagine the mess. Still, she's not the one who should be in that cell right now. About that. What is it? There's a question that's been on my mind for some time now. Stop beating around the bush, you know you can ask me anything. I'm an open. Do you regret killing him? Oh, so he did. Book? I do. I made a mistake. When Lev came to the greenhouse that night, I knew I had to act quickly. A chemist should never hurry, you know. It's always the patient who pays for their errors. What are you saying, exactly? I miscalculated the dosage. The solution I prepared was too potent for someone in Lev's condition. Oh, so he didn't do it on purpose. Oh, good. I was like, I didn't think Galen would... Good, would just kill a man. I miscalculated the dosage. The solution I prepared was too potent for someone in Lev's condition. His body could only handle so much strain. And when he performed his ritual, it gave up. I still remember his face, you know. That image will probably haunt me for the rest of my life. Only if you let it. I know. Remorse is meaningless unless I make amends. That's why I must save this city. How long have you known? Wow, Kaz knew for... I suspected you for a long time, to be honest. Really? And yet he decided to have some sexy times with me, regardless? Hmm. Kaz, you are a very interesting young man. Really? Curious how it never stopped you from seeking my company. I would have to be really ignorant not to find your sudden arrival suspicious. And it was you who had been chasing after me from day one. Like a cat in heat. Did you just compare me to a cat? Is that offensive in the Isles? No, but it is in Galen Land. Galen Land? What's Galen Land? Is that a theme park between your legs, Galen? Cats are cheeky bees. They're trouble. So are you. I mean, just ask Lev. I... I hope you don't mind me being responsible f I hope you don't mind me being responsible for Lev's death. Does it change anything between us? That would make me quite a hypocrite. I've killed dozens of people, you realize. Yes, but it was different in your case. What? Why different? There are things I've never told you about. Or anyone else for that matter. Hey, there are things in my past that I'm not very proud of either. I'd rather not talk about them though, so please, no confessions, alright? No, you have to hear this. Sounds ominous. As it should. The first time you came to the godhouse, I was really happy to meet you. Really? That's sweet. I was suspicious when you and Yanni arrived, yes, but also hopeful. Hopeful? Why? Because it meant I still had a chance to... atone. For what? I feel ridiculous even mentioning it. I've been telling myself that I should cope with all this on my own, but it just won't work anymore. Hey, there's only so much one can do alone. If you need a partner in crime, I'm here for you. Come on, spill it. 
Um, alright. Can I get a reassuring hug first? <laughs> you can get much more than that. Come here. This is reassuring enough for you? Aww. They look so cute together. I love the- this two- these two is really awesome. The only thing that's a bit off-putting about their relationship is I felt that they jumped in the sack a little too fast for my taste. Um, I don't know, I feel like... I- I- I prefer... I prefer, you know, not, you know, taking a little bit more time before... before, you know, doing that, so... Um, that's the only thing, is I felt that they admitted that they liked each other, then they made out, and then they immediately were like, let's have some sexy times. And I don't know, I feel, call me old fashioned, but I felt that they could have extended that a little bit more than, but whatever. It's a, it's a, it's a visual novel. It happens in visual novels. You can only, you can only have so much limited time in, in the game, so it makes sense that sometimes things like that just have to move really fast. I get it. You wake up a brave little soldier in me. Which li brave little soldier are we talking about here, Kaz? Alright, listen. I'm... Alright, listen. I'm not who you take me... F I take You take me for. My compact? You don't have to tell me anything about it. No. I owe this to you and to myself. I was contracted tracted by the bank for one purpose only, wet work. Being the chief isn't even a front. Nobody gives a, gives a D about the city gods anyway. So people know that you're... Istvan's lackey? They do. Besides, they're all lackeys in one way or another. And I never hid the fact that my official position is mostly fictitious. A reasonable strategy? I never sensed you lying to me, and technically you weren't. I didn't tell you the truth either. A man like Isfan has to be able to do two things. Access all the information he needs, and remove those he cannot use. So he needs spies and... Killers. Which one are you? I'm both. Uh, okay. Galen? It's alright, I'm just... processing this. This is most probably a mistake, and you'll hate me afterwards. But I need to come clean. Wait, were you sent to kill me? I said I'm fine, go on. My compact obligates me to remove any person designated by the bank. Just that, eh? It also states that each killing has to be clean, swift, and conducted in a clandestine manner. Nothing about efficiency? Really, and I took his fun for a civilized gentleman. Oh, but he is so very practical. He prefers to keep his agreements concise. If I fail to do my job, the bank shall treat it as a compact breach. Which renders your right of residence in the city null and void. Yeah, I remember that part. Exactly. People who break their compact either take a long walk outside the walls, or if they're lucky, simply vanish. Like the previous innkeeper? Like him, yes. Also, like San. Yanni's predecessor? Did you...? Yes, I did. Oh, wow, that's a bit of a confession, so I can understand him saying that he'd be a hypocrite. So, when people told Yanni they saw Sarn leaving the city, lies, of course, who else knows about what really happened? Galen, everybody knows. Waters take me, I've been so blind. You had no way of knowing. All this time, you never said anything. There's more, isn't there? You're still hiding something. One last secret. When you and Yanni arrived, my compact was slightly altered. Were you going to kill both of us? Isvan had another clause expending my, expending my usual duties and giving me two new persons of interest. Us two. You are targeting us. In a matter of speaking, he suspected you of infiltrating the city under false pretenses and asked me to examine you. No. I was ordered to get close to you and determine whether you are a threat, using any means necessary. Oh, snap! Like getting sexy times with me! Well, that's awkward! That's really awkward! <laughs> 